How's it going, everybody? It is time for yet another Territory War. Uh, already more than I did in December, I'm pretty sure, because uh, this will be the second one for January. Uh, our opponent is Scarif Beach Club. Uh, if you missed my last one, I've decided I don't really want to do the anonymous thing anymore. It's too easy to find them. You look up anyone you see on the wall, uh, and then you can find the guild. And uh, if you're like, the, there's only ever been one guild to complain. Um, and they were a very, a very intense guild, and I think it was more predictable that they would care. Um, sorry, Scare of Beach Club, if this is giving something away, but you can use this to adva your advantage. I mean, this is an isolated territory war. You can change up the defense and throw people off. If people do recognize you from this video and go back, you can just switch completely up and catch them off guard. So you can use it to your advantage. Um, the reason I don't show our defense is because people can clearly put together a pattern if they see, like, my guild. My guild is the only guild that's in all these territorial war videos. So you can look at all the defenses, put together a pattern, and exploit that. So that out of the way, um, guild comparison, 545 million GP to 548. So very even, pretty even across the board. They have a few more Leia's than us, a few more Jabba's, a few more Lord Vader's. Um, we have a, three more Leviathan, so it's pretty close. Average skill rating, 3466 on our side, 3349 there. So that makes me feel better and also someone from this guild like challenged me in one of my comments that was like try that crap phoenix crap on my reva r9 baby or something like that and i'm like okay i mean i'll try to uh, so this bottom wall is mainly uh ray there's some ram stuff in there we got afro without the Afrocron. um and on top we got it's like mainly treya star killer um and there's some other stuff like a old school star killer with palpatine there's a radis in there somewhere there's a leia I'll probably go for the leia there's a beskar moff gideon let me see okay so yeah this moff gideon i want to go in with radis before someone else takes this one uh, i said bays so And roots. Uh, and let's go for defense. Yeah. They reduce our defense really low, right? I need to save that one for JML. This one. Might be good too. I just keep this one. I, I, I prefer the defensive approach because it's all about getting to the ultimate. Uh, yeah, just to be the guild order, whatever. Um, we don't follow guild orders. Just kidding. I always get a question on, on each territory war. Why do you ignore that? It's because that's how we track how many attacks people are doing. Uh, oh, they have. I didn't even notice they have Dark Trooper. That's uh, an advantage. Revere turn me if I can. Oh, that's great. Save that. Revive can be handy. Have to get an AOE in here now. This doesn't do do all too much to Dark Trooper. Still has three stacks. Let's just try to get back to as much as we can. Cover. Once I get the the hope thing, then we're pretty good. Sables protection and the healing immunity there. Yeah, and they're not really hitting hard at all. Oh, they don't even have the good level six. Yeah, and I don't think they're modded super well. Let's dispel all that. Let's do this, wipe them out. Almost. Uh, let's dig you out. Hey, okay, good, we got rid of our demoralized.
I probably should target this guy because he can just bring everyone back. Um, you're also a sitting duck. Two. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. First battle in the books. Uh, not an Omicron one, but I. I don't know, I don't have the guts to try against that without Baze. Next up we got Java vs. Leia. Not an ult Leia, but it's the only one I saw on the front wall. It doesn't even have like the right data crowd stuff, so... It would be pretty easy, relatively. For a second I was thinking, oh, since he doesn't have the Drogon Cron, he didn't go to get past that 200% uh, health. But then I remember that is also part of the Drogon Cron, so there's not a concern. They don't have, like, protection from... And high turn meters, so they should actually go down pretty easily. Just get a lot of thermals. Without the ultimate, there's not a big threat from like attacking the others. you up. He's just like sitting around. Okay, I guess I can use the ultimate on Leia. Her armor shred took care of her faster. Uh, sad end to the best GL. She's just sitting there, slowly dying, can't take your turns. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm not totally sure what the cost-efficient way to handle, like, Treya is. I, w I would attack this Reva, but I want to save for that, that one guy's <laughs> Reva since he challenged me. Right, I have been advised to use Sith Eternal with just Sith, not a uh, Watt or anything against one of these Treya Star Killers uh, offensive buffs, because I do think that'll be important to get through them faster. Some health steal. And yeah, just <laughs> these guys. I mean, they're not too intimidating, but the other side doesn't have Mar Jade. Just uh, most of them are like that, just Juhani. And I picked a R9 Star Killer, so. We have Juhani and Star Killer. We do have that Visus Kron. And the 200% defense, so I'd be. I feel like I'd be kind of lucky to. I don't want to counterattack from Star Killer. Kinda lucky to Wow, that's good damage coming through here. There's counterattacks. Come on, you go down. I lost one. Well, the run definitely is kind of tough. My ult charging is slow because they're not taking a lot of turns. I die. And here comes the thing. Alright, yeah, I knew that was kind of bad. Alright, 
Uh, that's kind of rough, actually. I, I don't have Link. Okay, there we go. Starkiller does it rip me apart. Okay, uh, I think I'm recovering here. That thing is he's not all that valuable that this is bad use. I feel like just him and Watt would have been pretty good. I don't know what they want me to save it for, but... I don't trench him across. Maybe I could have ignored that. I don't know. But getting through, I mean, Shreya Starkiller is somewhat tricky. It prevents Fulcrum solos, but I don't know how many you even have of those. What's better, Omicron Droidacra or Omicron Camphasma? Uh, definitely on defense. I mean, I, th I think Camphasma, if you use it right, has a better ceiling, but I think. Here for this, uh, Droid Droidic Omicron will come out on top. V2 wakes up. Yeah. Someone with the target lock. <laughs> yeah, it's like trivially easy. It's not a good defensive team to put down. Just kind of a waste. All right, I'm going to take on this Ray with Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke and Jedi Knight Cal. Uh, but instead of using like Jedi Knight Revan and Volcast, I'll leave that kind of old classic Jedi Knight Revan team for something else. Bring Jedi Knight Luke, Datacron. Uh, they only have her post here, so it's not really a threat. Um, yeah, let's go. Plo Koon, I'm using my new uh, R7 Plo Koon. I look forward to that turn meter gain. Hopefully it's at a good time. He's lower speed, but not super slow, so he should go after most people have taken a turn, which is good. Mobility block, excellent. Uh, cycle two fouls turns as much as we can. Two. And that. Done everyone. Uh, dang, I don't want to use that Terminator yet because she has the inspired. Slam or windmill dunk or whatever you call it. Hold on, get me to uh Yeah. Okay, there we go. Good, we got what we need there. Um, perfect. Air meter. Swap to Luke is low. Or we'll give a turn to Luke. You under a okay, perfect. We're doing good. You have a post. Yep. Okay, that was actually a pretty good round. JML. Oh, I'm just gonna you. Oh, that was uh, Cal coming in there. Oh, yeah, that's why she keeps healing. I forget about Cal. Okay. I need to take care of him. 
Uh, that's why getting rid of sorty is good. There we go, okay, good, she's gone. Um, so where'd she come back? And even if they dodge forever, they can't dodge the special damage. Man, I'm gonna have to wait these guys out, it's just basic. Two slow pokes. Go and just wait this one out. Okay, finally. All right, there we go. Ray down. Uh, still have Giant Revan, Yoda, and Co. Not a world beater, but something. Actually, I'm going to try to put them to immediate use against an Afro without the Afrocron. Uh, going for defense here. And yeah, it's just a set 12 with without... Um... I don't know, maybe this is dumb, but uh, I'm going to increase my cooldowns to start. Hopefully I recover after that. I'll go for BT1, or no, I guess I can go for Afra first. Oh yeah, she's dumb, that's right, that's why it's fine. There's another re that's one of the main reasons she is not considered good on defense. Uses the wrong move to start. And Yoda's still hitting like a truck. Man, Mace hitting like a truck too. Yoda is a weapon of mass destruction. There is is a glass cannon, let's be honest. That was really smooth. I was worried, I was like, yeah, we can recover after a cooldowns increase, but nope, never happened. Alright now, bounty hunters versus crappy rogue one. No revive here is the only thing that's applicable and cool. Um, I kind of enjoy when they put random teams up front because it gives me something to hunt and peck at and I'm supposed to just do one counter to the main team. Getting out in front, that's for sure. It's not the only important thing. Probably need to do this. Now you are the weakest. Wanted to cleanse off Mando, but Ooh. I hope Jin doesn't have a AoE. Okay, good. Uh, snipe the big guy. Actually, yeah, I'll go for you. You're like, you're easier target. Why did I bring Greedo? Because I need to hit Greedo's contract like 500 times or something to get the next round of a challenge thing. I said Dengar. There we go. Nice and smooth. I, I don't really want to Roll the dice with Bounty Hunters against a uh, Lord Vader later anyway. Alright, going for kind of a novelty. I want to use Aphra against Dark Jura Moff Gideon with the Omicron. 
Um, I think there's a good possibility just, just with this data cron, not like normally, because we get out in front, we increase their cooldowns. This Omicron is pretty strong. Um, it gives a lot of extra turn or speed, extra health, so they're really, really tanky. When they taunt, dispel all buffs, debuffs from all of them and all buffs from me, which is really strong. And then whenever they're revived, get a bonus turn. So really the dispel and the bonus speed is what kind of worries me with something like Bad Batch. Uh, so I'm not going to try that, but yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I can just take out a Jabba with Aphra if, if we see them, but they're not on the front wall, and maybe they have learned to just keep Jabba, because we, we've been keeping Jabba, so. Maybe they did set Jabba, and this could be a great use for Aphra. We'll see. If it ever loads. There we go. Games begin. Why am I not getting bonus turns? I'm missing something. This team of like anti bonus turns. Oh, she gets a bonus turn, but they remove a little bit of turn meter. That's what's happening. I got it. Uh, now Stormtrooper here is going to be really, hit really hard, so... So I gotta be careful there, just don't target F for- okay, there we go. Missed. Boop. So, th yeah, this is a pretty smooth counter it's just uh you know kind of costly but if people don't sit job in territory where and they're sitting dark to remove kitty it might be great and we are rolling right along now we're the exact same gp uh, might seem like a mismatch but we have the same gp so i think this is just a case of not Laying things out, organizing rosters in the most optimal way. Um, I want to do like a Lord Vader versus Ray team that doesn't have Cal because Cal pro proves problematic for Lord Vader. But I do want like a decent team. Okay, level eight, uh, and I'm not going to use Maul, so I'm going to be using Lord Vader and Malakos. Uh, I do want to use Dark Trooper Moff Gideon somewhere. Uh, Empire Classic Trappings would be Royal Guard. I don't know if I need to. Thrawn for like. A Leia counter? I'll cross it. Darth Vader, yeah. Darth Vader has no home otherwise. And let's do Crit. Damage. Yeah, this one's good. Stacking defense for the Ufus. Yeah, this right team. I mean, a lot of players, especially newer mid game players, they've got the hyperdrive bundle. Um, this is a good team for if you got, if you just got to that point. Um, oh crap! I picked one without even Ben. I wanted Ben there. But yeah, this is not strong. In, in like um, the eventuality of the game, it does make sense. It eventually gets updated, is what I'm trying to say. I can't. 
hit anyone. Dispel. Oh, yikes. Gotta eat my hat talking trash about this lineup. Well, finally, I can attack Ray. Finally get to alt. He's gonna whirl in somebody. Yeah, Finn is kinda nice for his counter attacks. Got really inspired on him. Okay, well. So much for Ninth Sister. Okay, yeah, now we're starting to get cooking. I should have hit. Been there. Dang it, don't kill Vader. I'm gonna get one more shot at life. Damage immunity on Ray, good. Right there, we're gonna get whirlwinded. Oh, good, Royal Guard, you tank. Okay, good, Vader. Why oh, they pay you the big bucks? Glad I only took on a ray without Ben because I didn't do this didn't go as well as I was thinking it would. But it still worked out in the end, only lost one. Yeah, I still have them all for JMK. Alright, maybe got one more in me to squeeze on this front wall. Uh try and Padme, not any applicable mechanics just stats. Against this kind of wonky Starkiller team, it's got Juhani, but Juhani does on the Omicron. I wouldn't normally try this against a Starkiller team, but not the Omicron. Hey, how hard could it be? And no um, data. Get too many counterattacks. He's ramping himself up. Okay, and now he's gone. Just got to take care of Lisa so she doesn't bring him back. Okay, good. Uh, let's take care of Treya now. Probably won't do anything if I try. Yeah, but I picked Padme because it's like it's not a lot of attacks at a turn. I decided not to use Ayla for that reason. I mean, I have Qui Gon here, but I haven't called these assists with him. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Is he like immune to the? Yeah, he's immune to the like dots and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it did work. Um. Really stretching my roster in this one, which I like. 
Okay, so there is one Star Killer team left that doesn't have uh, Treya leaves. Got Palpatine lead. Doesn't even have Juhani either. And I feel like Tuskins could work again. Now I don't have many shorts on my channel, but one of them was Tuskins for Star Killer in Territory War, and it was intense, but it did work in the end. I don't have the Tuscan Warrior Datacron though, so I don't have that revive up my sleeve. Uh, even so. Feel like it could work, but we'll see. So already getting some turn meter. Uh, I want to go to Mar Jade. I want to. I'll tar pick on Palpatine for now. Okay. Can't do anything for most of them. I need the cleanse from Chieftain. So they don't get stunned, but they do get the dots. Okay, perfect. Uh, but Ray is gonna shrug those off. So she's a good counter for this. How about to end? There's no Vesis to bring back. happening okay I do like all the constant assists once Palpatine goes he's dead JTR is the problem she's like generating tons of turn meter maybe we'll counter attack her to death eventually Uh, maybe I do need to just try to kill BTR. He's been a pain. Yeah, we can get her. I need that cleanse. Get in there, warrior. Yes. Okay, there we go. So the annoyance is gone. We're gone, Star Killer. Okay, bait him into a counter so he can get tons of dots. Yeah, this is actually going really smooth. I just need help to take a turn, but we. Okay, there we go. Yep. Dead. RJ has enough to. Oh, she didn't quite have enough dots, but now she's dead. Yeah, this Chieftain Omicron is crazy. Even if this match is kind of annoying. Yeah, that was a. I mean, that was a more J data Omicron. That's a great one. We haven't lost anybody. I don't think we will lose anybody. Star Killer's gonna melt. Yep, he melted. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Sneeze. All right, I think I've contributed more than enough to the front wall, so I'll stop there for, I don't know how long it'll take us to get through, but I still have uh, Sith Empire, Supreme Leader Kylo, Reva, Maul, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, Phoenix, saving, for it, saving it for that guy's Reva. Uh, I didn't. I, I do have just general Imperial Troopers, right? Yeah, I got yet Night Sisters. They all have like kind of specific purposes in mind. Trey, I don't know what I'll do with her. Um, got the uh, I got Saw. So I do have a lot of stuff, Bad Batch, but I feel like I've done a, a lot already too. Um, and we're doing pretty good. We're really beating them. Uh, number one right now in banners, 553, and 215 attack banners. So, yeah, I like to be the front wall attack dog. Now, that's it for now. Be back in a bit.
All right, a few hours later, and we're to the back two walls, and almost done through, gone through one. Uh, it's, we got a bunch of dashes here, and on the bottom we have Lord Vader wall. Um, probably try to take out one of these Lord Vaders with Freeman or Kylo, and I'll pick on one that doesn't have great data cron. Should I do one that's tougher? Maybe I'll pick one with a solid set eight. This one. That might be a little too strong. 83% health and the second defense. I'll leave that for someone with a better or a better team. Uh, is this one a little bit easier? Air post prote eh, protection stuff. We don't have the stagging defense, so let me just work on that. Um, Separatists, what armor? And probably Hubert Alpha. And a tank. Oh, I ran a mask for sure. Okay. Let's go for health. Just, uh, if I have one of those stacking. Yeah. Be good. Alright, let's go. Okay, we need the armor shred to actually get that. I'll just give him two stacks. I was really just thinking through that one. Give that to crew. Oh, good crew survived. That was lucky. It was kind of rare to survive an onslaught like that. And, okay, yeah, armor shred on Lord Vader is going to be helpful. Time. I think I might have paused too long in this one. Why not? really too slow in this one. I always forget how the timeout risk this is. Maybe we'll be fine. Everyone's still alive, which is extremely rare. I'll give that to... And let's auto. They're gonna make most of the right decisions anyway. Okay. 
him through the team. They're really rampant. Okay. Armor Shred is nice there. I think I will get through it. And just a couple basics should do it. Oh, dang it. But, okay, well, still worked. Pause way too long. It's probably really annoying to people, but got through. I'm just going to try to blow through these dashes um, so I can get to ships now and not have to come back later and miss it because I don't got time for that. Um, we got Dash with Dark Trooper Moth Gideon. I don't really feel like taking on a Java and watch it die with this. I don't have the Omicron, so. It's nice that we get to. Start by removing their TM. The armor shred. Get that stagger, very nice. Goes off. Yeah, Vandor. This team is pretty fun, I mean, not gonna lie. I think I feel like Stormtrooper hits hard. <laughs> Hard is four to thirty-eight k. My gosh, he just beast. <laughs> it's a wrecking ball. All uh, right, Imperial Troopers. For the last one I see there, I have this speed advantage, and I don't think they're preloaded unless someone just one got like white. Okay, yeah, there we go. Perfect. No Vandor here, so... <laughs> so, uh, Beskar Amanda decided that it's fine just to go into his Whistling Bird stance, and he is mistaken, but whatever. Ah, uh, dang it. Now we're gonna have to sit through this. Should've gone for him next. Yeah, eat and suck it. Literally so stupid, just a stupid buff. Never take the turn. Uh, like, they get rewarded for being so bad. Backwards mechanics. Alright, almost to ships. 
Uh, bring in a Night Sisters because this last one still hasn't gone down. Hopefully, Night Sisters takes care of it, but I hate when we just can't get past a wall. IG to just melt from plague. It's getting there. <laughs> All right, we're for massage. Really got this uh, Hondo going. Okay, next is you. I don't know if um, it'll be hard to kill. It'll probably be hard to kill Hondo, but I don't think he'll be able to kill us. Much else still there. I need to stun nest. To get the plague to take off. Done. Hush. Too many buffs that are healing up Pondo. I just don't hit nest. She should melt. Or okay, there we go. She just died. Tilt two. Tilt two. That's done. Health and tenacity per stack. I didn't actually realize it was tenacity too. This might be a stalemate. <sighs> he's another one of these stupid characters. And he's slow too. Infinite evasion. You want to know why so many people like hated their lives? In this game, during set four, this is why nothing hits. Probably should have gone for Honda earlier. 
Now he's just freaking it. Invincible. He's invincible and immortal. But he can't kill me because he can only have shoot one person at a time. That's so stupid. Just get through the freaking wall. Let's disobey the order. We've already died to this guy five times. Uh, let's go, Ahsoka Fulcrum, Wampa, Fives you. Actually, no. I'm on fifth brother. I thought we had a leftover Inquisitor, but we don't. You, and you. No data, Kron. A solid team. Solid. Great. So I got ten stacks. Good job, team. You're you're an excellent group. All right, what well, we got in ships? Oh, what do we got here? First two. Do we have that Riva? Okay, we do have Java and Leia. Someone else take care of it. I used everything. Deck. Anything else? Leviathan. I'll do my Leviathan attack first. That's all I'm going to be able to get out. Like, there's no point in other reinforcements. I'll never get there. With this, someone's going to lose their ship. Don't check mods, cause... You can still win even after you lose this coin toss, and if their Sith Fighter's faster, it's just something... I've realized. Hopefully it's, it gets under the full health it may have. I always want to do that, just to get the debuffs, and also to not heal up... Um, ...too much to help them generate more TM. Yikes, don't uh, kill that. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm stupid. Hey, well, I, maybe I did need another reinforcement. Healing it up. Gosh dang you. It was almost foresight everywhere. Never mind. It goes so well in Fleet Arena, and here it sucks. Yeah, I get it. You're killing me. Oh, we're taking over your ship.
Since I have a tank, sometimes I still win in this situation. And actually, yeah, I, I was right. I'm never gonna reinforcement because either you win by this time, you lose by this time, or you still have the ship gone. So, and like they can't even use their specials again. So it's just basics from their side. As I keep my tank alive. Handle that. AoE is kind of a trap. This ship is really annoying when it comes in late because it's like, I think it's tankier. Those things. Uh, gotta take your. Get you down a bit, just a tad. Okay. <sighs> Try hards with all the reinforcements. Stop hitting that ship. This is going to be one of those ones where I'm not going to lose, but I will time out. And that is super annoying. It's like these last three, four battles have just been some of the most annoying mechanics on the, in the game on display that are infuriating. Time out, time out, time out. Don't, you don't have enough time. This thing like doesn't die, it's not a normal thing. It has damage immunity, which the game is about dealing damage to other characters, but you literally can't deal damage to Bam. Hondo, you can't hit him. You can't hit him, you don't touch him. It's against the rules, he dodges everything, that's illegal. And then this ship, I killed the entire fleet and it's down to this stupid ship doesn't take damage, it has stacks. It's like the Endor raid, tons of little stacks. When it has 40, it'll kill you in one shot, but it can't die in one shot, even if you bring it in. Even if it comes in when you have that sabotage the hangar, it doesn't die, it has like, see? Uh, I win, I won this. I won this match. I won all the other matches, and I've timed out three in a row, and it pisses me off. It seriously pisses me off. <sighs> it's so stupid. Like, I seriously, three in a row, the stupidest things. The stupidest battles. Uh, I'm going to do some executor battles. I don't understand what I'm looking at right here. There's zero battles, and then there's these two things there. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Uh, but whatever. Let's do Chimera. Whatever. Um, let's just pretend like we're facing... Elevithe. Which, by the way, I, like, autoed an executor in fleet arena i like i usually am used to doing that like and i was in a time pitch i needed to climb and i lost and i was like what the crap is that that was a few days ago but uh let's go for you let's kill you i get all the assists on tie fighter sucks he died Okay, I'm gonna go for the approach of just keeping the taunt. 
Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, they, they don't care. They don't... Mm, they don't care. They get to hit whoever they want. They get to target whoever. It doesn't... It does... No, it doesn't matter. Like, you have a taunt thing? They don't care. That's not a thing. What do, what do you mean, taunt? That's, that's not a thing. Sorry guys for getting so annoyed. I just feel like everything like everything is on display right. It's inconsequential. We're gonna win. We're gonna crush this DW. I don't I don't care about the ultimate win or lose. It's just in a microcosm. These are annoying. Yeah, oh, this this means Enemies will target this unit, yeah. Nope, never. Enemies will never target this unit. They'll decide they don't want to, and then that's that. Can you ignore taunts, too? Did I have... Did I have, um... Target lock on that? Spell that. I. Fudge you. Stupid crap. Oh, I don't, I don't want to come back to this, so I'm going to unload the clip. Use profundity. I don't want to come back and play this later today. And there's that, that guy who says, oh, try that crap on my Reva. Where is it? I don't see it. It's nowhere. Like, put it on the front if you're going to say that. Like, I can't just check. I can't come back and check every minute in this TW. TW is 24 hours long. You want to know why people don't, don't cover TW more? It's because you have to pop your head back in. Oh, did we get through? Oh, we... Like, you, every territory war is like, oh... I do a bunch on the front wall. Oh, okay, we're like halfway through the wall. We'll be through in an hour or something. I come, I look eight hours later. Oh, no, we, we, we had 20 on this wall. Now we have 10. Okay, it's like, okay, when do I come back? It opened up in the middle of the night. Oh, okay, great. Like, there's a reason people don't do this and I'm like the only one. I mean, I'm sure there's other people doing it, but... I don't really see many people doing it. I also probably do too many attacks. I'm like a total banner chaser and want to kill everything. And I get impatient when it's like we're not getting past like, like a, t a wall of dashes, really. But I guess I can understand. I mean, I'm losing too. Damage immunity, bam. 50 stacks, Hondo. What was even on the land? I walk, oh no, I lay on Java. Yeah, I can't really do anything there. That will be fine. I mean, especially since it's a split wall, it's like people save a counter for each one. If it's like a full wall, it'll take longer because it's like. We need everyone that has a specific counter to log on and do it. But if it's like two split, it's like one person can go in and take two. And yeah, so you're already 34 out of 43. Uh, people are getting, that, getting it done, especially with like Afra. I already used my Afra. And there's a CLS. I don't think I could take this CLS. Actually, no, I can't. I'm using it to the Empire. I don't care if they have a wall of repos. I'll take one out with a. Phoenix team, that's it. Like, I'm not coming back every hour or something. No, they killed someone. Guess they got, um... 
Vater. Just a little tab. I should have done Darth Revan lead, like, this is weak. They have, like, wet noodles. Good, shoot him. <laughs> what the crap? You'll see the repo. I like Luke is too strong. He'll counterattack me and just kind of wallop me. What is it? This thing does? They just spell all debuffs on themselves. Oh gosh, that's annoying. I want to wait for the hop, the Luke and the rain. I have them both. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's worse than I need to be. Two eighteen. I should use Darth Revan. I think Darth Revan would. Uh, there, but yeah, that's it. Unless someone tags me that that guy's. Reva team that's somehow it's somehow special. It's somehow it's a special Reva team like Phoenix versus Reva You know it, it works great against other Reva teams, but not this guy's team All right, yeah, that's it for now It's 80 banners 342 attack uh, But more rogue act a lot more rogue actions because I got all this <laughs> Hails all the annoying matches. All right, actually, I'm back. Uh, the TW's over. I I wasn't kidding. I didn't come back. I didn't come back last night. And when I woke up in the middle, or when I woke up this morning, we had completely destroyed their back wall and never came across that guy's Reva. Uh, I don't know if I found a screenshot to put in here. And I like commented on the thread after. I was like, I, I couldn't find your Reva. Where was it? He was like, oh, we didn't set a Reva wall this time. But I wasn't going to tell you that because that'd be intelligence. for the... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess that's fair. It's just funny. It was like such a personal challenge. I, I just thought it was so humorous. And I did get really annoyed at the end of this. Like, I don't know. It was just... The three timeouts in a row, that'll really, that'll really mess with your mind, man. Um, I ended up 7th in banners, so... I had some people really run up their score. Um, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, nice to win. Hey, by the way, I only recently realized you can go to Swigit.dg and see, like... Your, like, Territory War history, I didn't know. Like, we win, like, our overall Territory win rate across, like, all time is, like, 73%. That's pretty good, like, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you later.